Hello, my friends. All right, let's get to learn some other nodes, which one of them is polygon. Its place is geometric curves, then polygon, as you can see here. We need this one, regular polygon, which is made by a circle. Uh, if you right click here uh, and then search uh, polygon, yes. Uh, okay, let me see where it is. And uh, now you should write it completely. Polygon, okay. As you can see, click on it, regular polygon. As you can see, its inputs are a circle and number sites. Okay, for that, right click here, then search circle by center, okay. All right, I'm gonna give it to circle and number sites are five as a default value. Okay, control B, let's zoom on it and it's good. I can give it a number, for example, okay, for example, eight, it's good. Or whatever you want. Uh, in order that it gets a circle and that circle gets point and then after that make a point here, okay, right click uh, and click on it. And in my node point, there are um, some points. Then I can make circles by that points, as you can see. And that circles make polygon. As it is so clear, we repeated all of this so that you master on it. Uh, at the end, it would be something like uh, this, as you can watch it. You can make it high and etc. And that's it for polygon. You can make a polygon by points other than a circle. For example, assume that I make some points here. Uh, how to do that? Uh, you should uh, right click, search point, okay, click on it, put it here, then copy from it again and again. Okay, it's enough, I think. For example, five, uh, I give it to X and here as well. Uh, okay, here to X again and here minus 3 to y for example these four points okay okay if you search polygon and uh, you can see by points put it here it has one wire so before that we should uh, make list create okay click on it you can add uh, to this list as many as points you have it doesn't matter how many it is Okay, connect them to it, uh, the order matters, okay, pay attention to it. Okay, it cannot be the third one. If you connect them, as you can see the result, it will be like this, and this is wrong. Okay, let's correct this, and all right, it's good now. All right, uh, for example, let's uh, add another point here, and let's um, give it let me think. Mm, for example, three is good. I think it's good. Okay, put three and give it to x, and its y would be minus three. All right, I'm gonna add another one here and give it to this one. Uh, okay, it's not in the right place. Let's change it. All right, uh, I should change this to this one. Uh, okay, it's good. So we can make a polygon by points and after that give it list create and then give it to polygon. All right, uh, after that, guess what? It's ellipse. All right, let's move it here. Oh, good, it's good. Right click then uh, search ellipse. Be sure that it has two L okay then click on by origin radii uh, well uh, control b here then zoom it okay it's fine it's like the circle but instead of one radius it needs two radii you can do the same jobs to ellipse as you did to the circles for example let's give one uh, to its x radius and then after that, we can give the number of 2 to its y radius. 
you can write those two numbers in a code block. To do that, you should write one semicolon two. And then it makes it two lines so that you can give them separately. Do it to avoid increasing the number of code blocks. It's like saving more space. All right, that was it for ellipse. Uh, all right, in the next part, we are going to talk about rotation, which is a very important and useful tool. We can do something cool with it. And we have special practices for it. For example, we are going to rotate this ellipse right here, 90 degrees. How to do that? We are supposed to learn some new concepts. Generally, in Dynamo, if you move or rotate or mirror or whatever, it will make a copy from it. In the other softwares, which they ask you if you want a copy or not, that is your choice. But in Dynamo, it always makes a copy for you. That's its method. All right, let's get to the rotate and let's see its options, which are so useful. Okay, let's practice. All right, you need to right click then search rotate. Absolutely, you don't face with only one option. It has various models. Its most useful model is origin axis degrees. All right, after you click on it, uh, yes, let's see its input ports. All right, the first option is geometry, which means what I'm supposed to rotate. And why is it geometry? Because it may be a line, a point, a volume, a surface, or whatever. Generally, it says whatever you give me, I rotate it for you. The next option is origin. We have it in other softwares too. Around where, around which point does it rotate? And then you should specify its origin. Its input type is from a point. If I move my mouse on here, as you can see, so we should give it a point. And what is the axis exactly? All right, let me show you this picture. What is axis exactly? Axis or vector. It says if you want to rotate an object, around which axis do you want to rotate? Around axis Z or X or Y? Around where? You should specify that. So we should give a vector to the rotation axis. For example, according to this picture, around which axis we want this ellipse to be rotated? Great! Around Z axis. So the axis that we give it should be Z axis. All right, let's see how to do that. You just need to mm, right click here, okay, yes. And just write Z, Z axis. When you click on it, it says Victor Z axis. Uh, all right, after that, when you keep your mouse on axis, if I move it now, you see it says give me a vector but for origin it said give me a point all right i'm gonna give a vector to it and for origin we need uh, we need to add a point here okay right click search point then give it to this origin zero zero all right let's put it here uh, okay mm, it's good all right our geometry is this ellipse and it says how many degrees I say 90 degrees and give it to this one it's really simple it doesn't need that I repeat it again so if you add an integer here and you connect it to this one you can uh, change it like this or change it to 360 degrees so it would be like this yes uh, all right it's so simple okay now we are going to draw this shape we are supposed to use consecutive numbers in fact instead of giving only one degree to it we're gonna give it some degrees for example one time 20 degrees another time 30 degrees and etc all right i make a code block here 
then right uh, it starts from 10 to 90 degrees and then hashtag 7 and the result is uh, if I click on this you can see uh, there are many numbers here and the last one is 90 so if I connect this to this one well from uh, 10 to 90 it made uh, seven rotations for me which practically means copy the order of dynamo rotation kind of looks like polar array that practically it arrays them for example if here I change it to 360 degrees and then increase uh, its number it would be a cool thing and let me put a smaller number like 20 now it's good it practically as you can see uh, acts like array now we're gonna draw the shape exactly which there is in this picture well it rotates 45 degrees by 45 degrees if we rotate it 45 degrees it would be like this and for this one is the same for this one and but this one is repetitive because it's as the same as the first one so how many one of them is itself two three four okay we actually need four if we make four ellipses it's done from zero 45s by 45s how many one two three four so let's see to it uh, we write from zero to how many four and how many degrees uh, 45 degrees okay well as you can see the result uh, let's connect this to this one so it is yes Control b now c okay uh, let me make it thinner to have a better result let me change it uh, it's so much better now all right we said uh, the first one is zero itself as you can see and then rotate 45 degrees by 45 degrees how many one two three four the fifth one is as the same as the first one all right you got it i give it number and the steps or distance whatever uh, there is a common mistake that everyone may make that they decide uh, to change it to 360 degrees when you count it you see it's 8 and then they change it to 8 hashtag 8 and they make it wrong if you even uh, change it to 4 or maybe 5 and even uh, six you know it doesn't make sense and it will be wrong we should say we need four with distance of 45 by 45 degrees as you can see it makes it right if it is necessary you can rewind this part to review then after that uh, continue the rest of the video let me give you another example so that you can learn it better for example let's draw this one all right uh, for this one we say we have a point that rotates uh, 360 degrees and we make its radius and number parametric you should pay attention to closing and opening this big circle and the number of each circle that makes a big circle together uh, all right uh, mm, right click here search point click on it let it be on zero for rotation center it's okay uh, copy from it and paste it here i'm gonna move it on x axis in order to make this big circles radius yes this big one parametric so i give it an integer um, or number it, it has no difference and give it to x to move it here it's good uh, all right now we are gonna rotate it 
right click then search rotate origin axis degrees click on it I give it that point around where should it rotate around zero so I give it zero okay what's its axis uh, Z all right fine uh, let me put it here okay now about degrees all right we want it to rotate 360 degrees and we need its number to be parametric well my friends I want you to guess now how we should do this as I told you we want it to rotate 360 degrees and its number should be parametric so look at this which one of these do you think it is from 0 to 360 degrees with some numbers that's right it's the third state from 0 to 360 degrees with some numbers so here we say from 0 to 360 degrees with some numbers hashtag n it's parametric okay and I give it to this one okay let me copy from it put it here and connect this to this one as you can see we can control the number see okay and now uh, add circle here all right and for uh, the radius we should add another code block here all right double click from one tenth to one with some numbers uh, it's parametric hashtag n all right you may see I'm doing it very fast because we have practiced it so much before. Okay, great job everyone. I hope you do it very well, practice it so much. And for the next chapter, we have another practice to work on. You should take it serious. And uh, that's it for now. Have a good time.